Good morning. I have tasked myself with trying to walk through in five minutes or less to show you some of the changes that we hope will happen with Vision 2020. We have to start at the outside because you did see that in our plan we had talked about the installation of a gabled roof and the change of our front entryway. Now part of that is to tie that into our other on-campus buildings and those buildings were all designed to reflect our original building, what was Gibson Hall and now Perry Hall. And so we want to tie Ellis Hall into that. The other thing is, is that uh, we can spend a million dollars inside our school and look like we've done absolutely nothing. And so we want to signal right from the get-go that something big, something awesome is happening here at Great Lakes. And does that mean that we might mm, change our blue brick? Well, the blue brick, I know, iconic and really cool in the 1960s and the 1970s. We'll have to see what happens there. We do have to build a new uh, stairwell in these two offices that will exit onto the front. Right now we don't have stairs that exit to the exterior, which violates fire code. We also have this ramp that leads into our school. I think you can see it is too narrow. And while it does get you past this step, it doesn't get you past this step to these doors that are too narrow and cannot open on their own. And so that is something that we want to address. As soon as we step into our foyer, you notice that all the doors to the hallways are closed. By fire code, they have to remain closed all the time. We cannot prop them open or we can be charged. Although they're not fire doors, they will slow down the advance of a fire if it takes place. And I gotta tell you, during the day, when there's lots of people here and you go to open these doors, um, a lot of bruised knuckles. But these will all be replaced with proper fire doors, mag lock doors that will uh, close or open automatically depending on the need. Also, just across from the academic office, this very narrow, steep, not to code set of stairs will disappear and the offices that will be sacrificed for an external uh, staircase will be moved over and claim that space. As we come down here, we see the other enclosed set of stairs that goes up and down, but again, it violates fire code because it only leads to interior spaces. So one of the things we need to do is to punch a hole in this wall that will lead to a short hallway that will uh, take you out to the space between the gym and the library. Coming up these stairs, which will remain, on the third floor, the biggest change will be this. Right here, in this corner, as we come into these two classrooms, will be where the elevator will come upstairs. But it's gonna cut a little bit of a chunk into this school space, which is already small. Thankfully, we have some options here. First of all, there's an exit stairwell that goes down that we will remove, because again, it doesn't go outside. And you can see that this wall doesn't extend all the way to the exterior. By pushing out those two spaces, we gain classroom space and we accommodate an elevator that can bring people up to the upper floor. These stairs will be relegated unnecessary and therefore can be removed. And perhaps sadly for those of us with fond memories who lived in residence, also being lost, mailboxes that don't get used now anyway. This is the space that will have the most dramatic change. These stairs, gone. That corner, gone, that's where the elevator will be. This space outside will have two doors that exit to it and one that exits from the library. And this wasted space between the gym and the library can then be used during good weather as a study patio, but also as a year round emergency exit directly outside. Coming down the hallway to the cafeteria, this narrow hall will be removed. This whole wall will go and that will expand the cafeteria over to the space. And part of the reason for that necessity is that again, this space does not have a proper exit outside in the event of an emergency. And so, in that corner right there will be an exit staircase as an emergency exit in the event that there is an emergency. And the stairs that exist inside, that go down to the Waves Kitchen, they will be uh, locked so that they can still be used by groups like the Waves who need to move back and forth between the kitchens but that this would not be an emergency exit for people in our building. Oh, almost five minutes. Down the hallway, last big change. As we come around past the change rooms, I do have to make one note. 
in order to accommodate the elevator down here, this is Wayne Whitfield's office, facilities manager. Yeah, um, it's gonna be sacrificed and gone. Wayne's not here tonight. I don't know if he's heard yet, but his space is going to be gone. These stairs will disappear. An elevator will be here. Some new stairs will come down through the center. And this space will virtually be left unchanged to let us into the gym. Ah, 526, almost made it. But hopefully this gives you a picture of what we hope to accomplish in Vision 2020.